Sarah, tell me what was on this path up until you said about a week ago. Yeah, just um, just about a week ago exactly, actually. This was all gravel, just newly put down gravel, I believe, from MI. And, um, and just as of last week, there were machines that came all of a sudden one day and just scooped up all the gravel and put down the dirt and there's some mesh and some straw and hay and it's very muddy and it's not easily you know you can see there's people that are have gone down here it looks like but it's it's not very welcoming so actually it's a pretty short distance from the paved trail actually, which yeah maybe 30 yards yeah and and this is the fence that um that people have claimed that MI cut down, but this fence is actually on Jefferson Township property. I verified with the township trustees, and this fence is actually part of the old paddock that the um, Kitts Miller Farm horse, I guess was a famous horse, Early oh, Dolly. Um, <laughs> had lived in this paddock, and uh, this fence is, is actually part of Jefferson Township, not the Hannah. Okay. And, th and this path also connects, it connects to Darling Road, so it's not just Weldon residents that are concerned or you know, use this. Um, there are a lot of people in in um, surrounding neighborhoods, and uh, so where the paved starts is literally this. Literally right. Is that the township? Is, yeah, mm -hmm. I believe this is township property. And then, then this is all and reserve. Then that's I think. all reserve and part of Hannah Park. Ooh. So you can almost see the trail from here. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, again, it, it's a connection to to other. We have a lot of space here in Jefferson Township, and we welcome people to use this space as well. It's to connect us, not to segregate. Right. Yeah, it's a great access for uh, Weldon residents yeah. to, to the park. Oh yeah, and um, and the Kitts Miller or uh, Kitts Miller Crossing is right through there, and then even the residents right on Darling Road are really enjoying it, and. Um, it just kind of came to a as a shock to us and like I said I mean as parents we're just all very concerned about you know the safety and letting our kids still be able to be kids and, and right. play at the park without the worries and Erin it's convenient for you to bring Harley to take a walk over oh to my the, gosh, it's so the park and I saw your son yeah. was with a soccer ball that you guys had headed over to the park for yep some. he loves to take walks and this was awesome because it's a nice mile walk for him and exercise twice a day but yeah <laughs> now he's gonna be muddy when he goes I know I'm gonna say look at my shoes now, <laughs> now so be muddy. what's your hope that you know I honestly I just hope that Gehanna would be open to us utilizing it without any controversy or um and, and letting the kids you know have access to this without there being us against them I mean our children go to the same schools they should be able to go to the same parks and right. not have any issues Right. And there should be a safe path for these kids to be kids. And yep. it's, it's, um, it's concerning because if, if this is just one thing, what else could be on the horizon? All right. Okay. Thank you. Not a